guys and welcome back to Pokemon Diamond Mono Run. The last episode, you know what we did? We beat the freaking Orberg City Gym and got our first badge, which was the coal badge. And you know what? We didn't lose a Pokemon. We beat a rock type gym leader while keeping our lovely Dracula and Oops, oops, oops! Our lovely Dracula and Ricer. So up here, I guess we can't do anything except get a Pokeball. Um, so I think we have to go back to Jubilife. And go up to Route 204. Because that was 207. So let's do that. We're going to run all the way back. So it's so cool. I love this game so far. Oddly enough. Oh my gosh, what do you want? Good. Whoops, Sparky. You got the gym badge, huh? Turnit City is the next place with the gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't get there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife. Next stop, the Turnit Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Bah, who's got time to count? He is crazy fast. That's why his hair is still sticking up. It's very windblown. So we have Rock Smash. We can actually go up there, but I'm not gonna because we don't really need to. I'm just gonna kind of avoid all Pokemon and people, but I know there's Pokeball down here. And it's a Repel. That's very good because we're gonna go into the Rock gym, a rock Cave thingy. And in the Cave thingy, there's a lot of Rock Pokemon and we all know Rock Pokemon are not my favorite. No, not one bit. So we made it through. Let's go up now. There's Rowan. What do you want, Rowan? Ah, Sparky. Impeccable timing as always. These Miss Gritton are babbling utter nonsense that I can't, that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll refrain from causing massive damage to your system. Sparky, join me and battle these guys. That's right, suckers. We're gonna destroy you. Oh, cool. Double battle. I didn't think they had that in this. Sweet. So, Galactic Grunts. Team Galactic is the, um, bad guys in this, I guess. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, this is kind of cool. First time seeing those, I didn't even think about the bad guys. A Piplup and my Dracula. What do we got? Let's see. Let's use. <laughs> let's use. Yeah. Let's use it on him. Astonish. Eat it. Eat the damage. Take it in the butt. Okay, we're gonna switch out. This is gonna take forever. Oh, cool. Bubble hits both of them. Cool. That's right, guys. You know what? I'm just gonna keep out with Dracula. Make us all suffer the slow battling pain of battleness. Because Astonish is going to be more effective, right? Boop! I love the little noise Astonish makes. I've never actually used Astonish because I've always had Pokemon that have had better moves than Astonish and Leech Life. Yes. So this is pretty impressive that I can do this. It's impressive that I beat the freaking first rock gym leader. I'm still not over that, by the way, as you can tell. But we're going to be bringing out Ricer. This battle's going to take a day and a half of recording. <laughs> not literally, but you know what I mean. Ricer's Intimidate. Cut the foe Zubat's attack. And Wormpole's attack. You could have just said and. I would have got it. Thank you, Gabe. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the little Piplap. I think my friend, my lovely friend Blackleaf, he just got a Piplap in his, um, Nuzzlelock. Woo! So, congrats to that. Um, pretty cool Pokemon, I guess. I still need to figure out what hidden power is, to be honest. What type are we? Watch it be flying. That would be tall special. Well, apparently it's not effective. Darn it. What What are you? It's probably like bug or something really silly because it didn't affect a rock and it didn't affect a flying. What doesn't affect rocket fighting? 
No, because fighting's super effective on rock. Flying doesn't affect either, though. Watch it be a flying. You're supposed to be something else. Completely different. But I guess not, because Ricer is only a flying Pokemon. Oh! Oh, yeah. Experience! Well, they were not very hard. Friggin' Team Rocket's harder than them. Like, in a non- non-dirty way. Because- because I didn't mean like that. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent and to all. We shall leave. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be trying to use that power for something. Anyway, Sparky, well done. You battled quite capably. I know I said that wrong. The sight of your you trainers and Pokemon battling together. I made the right decision in entrusting you with the Pokedex. Not really, because I can't catch any Pokemon. Just letting you know. You're gonna see a bunch of birds. Yeah, just about 90% of Pokemon do evolve, don't they? I think there's just very few who don't actually evolve. If any, really. Oh, that was very good! Nicely done! Truly excellent! Oh, I beg your pardon, I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. Oh, we can be pretty now! We got the fashion case! Pretty, pretty. You'll find a whole spectrum of chick accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow! And right now, the TV station is offering its facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There are also prize giveaways too! Please do visit our TV station. I don't think so. Not that my Pokemon are not totally beautiful, because they so are, but I would rather not waste my time on that. I'm just saying. Maybe one day I'll go in there. At your guys' request, but I don't know what I would do if I went in there. Because I don't know what the heck he was talking about, so... Indubitably. Anyway, of course, we're gonna jump them into the PC, because I never like going into a battle with unhealed Pokemon. It's just, it's it's an omen that you should not, because if you do, you're gonna be screwed. Just saying. So here I believe we need to go up to Route 204. We cannot catch anything up here, I don't believe, because there's still only Starlies and Zubats in these areas. But that doesn't mean there's trainers that we cannot battle and stuff. And see what I mean? Starly. Freaking Starlies everywhere. It doesn't affect. I knew it didn't affect her. Alright, well we're gonna keep using Leech Life until we destroy this Starly. Because we are awesome like that. And wanna waste everybody's time. Just kidding. I give up already. Battle me, trainer! So I can eat your soul! Ooh, it's a Badoo! This would be effective, right? That's right! Finally a move that will- Or a Pokemon that I can hurt! We need to get up to level 13. That's when he learns his first move. Or Miss Dracula. Her. Eat it, Badoo. I don't know why, but when I first thought, saw Badoo, I thought it was a flying and I was excited because I thought I was going to get a new Pokemon. But it wasn't. There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a Pokemon would be able to break those boulders, though. Um, so from my knowledge, I do not believe we're able to go through here, but we- Oh, look, there's a hole. An antidote was found. Oh, man, I forgot to get a Pokemon with Rock Smash. Let's catch one in here. So we're just gonna catch- Oh, no, we're not. Apparently. We're gonna find a Geodude and catch it to- For an a HM slave. There we go. That's what I needed. Mud sport. Let's just get him down to like minimum health. Yellow health. And then we'll throw a Pokeball. Because to be honest, a Geodude shouldn't be that hard to catch. Go, my 10 Pokeballs! I will throw the ball at you! That would be kind of funny. Just to throw a bunch of Pokeballs. Yeah. So we got a Geodude. I 
can't use it. I don't really care what he says. But I do care that I can teach him Rock Smash. This is like the coolest freaking- I love this. This is awesome. Okay, Geodude, here. Take the Rock Smash in your face. And we will use it on this rock so we can smash it and go through the hole. Boom, shakalaka. How sad is it that I haven't played this game before? This is so awesome. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have the same type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against types it's weak to. I know, young boy. I know how that feels. Be quiet, you big jerk. Jeez. I can't help it. I have to. If I don't use the same type, then they'll kill me. Alright, well we're about out of leech seeds, aren't we? Leech lives. Oh, but that's more effective! Boom! Yeah! Go, Dracula! You piece of work. A truby? Oh my gosh, Balzac! Die! I'm gonna pop your cherry? Is that appropriate? Ding. Awesome, Dracula's getting good at this stuff. An awakening. Please don't put me to sleep. Oh, I love this bottom screen. Look how awesome it is. It just shows my Pokemon. I think there's another bottom screen because my brother loved this game. I think there's another bottom screen where like they float around at the bottom. That's gonna be awesome. Dracula, you're supposed to have a lot of PP because you have a weak move and weak moves are supposed to have a sh crap ton of PP. Darn it. A wormhole. Eat it. Okay, that's not effective. Don't poison me, please. I don't even think I have an antidote, and I really don't think I have any potions left either. That wouldn't be good. It really wouldn't. Okay, well, hidden power is effective against her. Oh, not a double battle! Craptastic. Maybe I should have, like, went and healed first, because I need PP. A Pachu- Oh my gosh, Pachurisu, how adorable! I want one! I wish there were flying squirrels. That's so not cool. And they better not know any thunder moves. Come on, Dracula. Quit being a lame. Oh no! Okay, we were faster. We're level 12! One more and we got Dracula a bite. And then I think he learns... Never! A Badoo, how cute. And then he learns wing attack at like 14 or something. I don't know when he evolves though. I should probably look that up. Oh, bullet seed! I wonder if he can learn that. That would be a cool thing to teach him. Let's see if he learns that. I wonder if they, he can learn Stealth Rock. I doubt it. Nope. No Bullet Seed. Let's see. Oh! Geodude obviously can learn it. Oh well. We tried. What's up here though? The Pokemon Center's up here! Yay! That's what I like! I like the Pokemon Centers. Good morning. Well, I'm just going to take a look. So, Zubat decides to evolve around 22, and then he levels up to Crobat with happiness. So, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's actually terrible. Because his stats are crap. He has a very high speed and attack, of course, because bird Pokemon tend to have that. But everything else just sucks. So, any Pokemon with a high defense, we're kind of screwed. If you've got a Pokemon with you, it's safe for even a little kid like you to go traveling alone. We're kinda close to Etrina City, but still quite far away. You should be prepared for a long journey. Can't you find, like, unknown in one of these places here? And then isn't this the place with the breeders? Some kinds of Pokemon appear only if they're attracted by a sweet scent of honey. Pokemon must have a cute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. Really now? Um. 
I don't know. I think we go right, I guess. But I'm gonna see what's here because I'm curious. And we need Pokeballs. <laughs> I mean, potions. That'll at least give us 10. Super potions! Why didn't I buy those? I didn't see them there. Darn it. I guess we'll buy some. We can buy three. <laughs> We're rich. Okay. That'll be it for today. Thank you, shopkeeper. Let's see what we have here. What is this area? Can you catch Pokemon in the flowers? That would be awesome. Florama Town has a barren desolate hill. That's a lot to talk, dude. Just shush and let me go. I know you're a woman and you cannot control yourself. Oh my gosh, what are these guys doing here? Aren't we Team Galactic? And we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers? This doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment. But bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Oh, you guys are boobs. Just enjoy the flowers. At least you're not out fighting some war against humanity. This is a cherry tree. Sure, let's pick all the berries. Because we can have our Pokemon hold them, and good things will happen. Right? This is an orange berry. Oh, we love orange berries. And then let's jump here into this, um, this area. Let's see. Trainer, please water berries using this spray duck watering can. Aha! I knew I was going to get something. You guys are so kind. Oh, well, can you buy stuff from here? Hello! Would you like to exchange your berries for some accessories? Cool! Googly specs! What does this stuff do? Yes? Oh, cool! Oh, oh, those are... Those are those accessories for that fashion show, huh? I will never do it! Never will I do the fashion show! Okay. So it looks like we need to go this way. What's over here? Uh, route 205. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pick these berries, and then I think this should be the end of the episode, because we're getting pretty up there. So next episode, I guess we're gonna go explore Route 205, and see if we can find any new Pokemon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I really hope to see you next episode. Bye!